We're here on day two at AdCon with uh, Professor Imin uh, from Cornell. And uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about his work uh, that he's doing with blockchains at Cornell. Sure, let's see. So I am the co-director for Initiative for Cryptocurrencies and Smart Contracts at Cornell, also known as IC3. Uh, we generally see as our mission uh, to uh, expand our knowledge of blockchains and to advance the science and engineering of blockchain construction. So uh, to that end, we work at every single layer. Uh, today, I was here talking about our work at the network layer, uh, but we also work at the contract layer and we work at the uh, smart uh, at contract layer, at the application level, at the smart contract level as well. Um, and, uh, and above that, we also work on application integration. Awesome. And this uh, network layer solution is called uh, BlocksRoute? Right. BlocksRoute is the company that's uh, commercializing our idea of uh, creating high-performance networks for blockchains. So what we see today is uh, a, a huge proliferation of blockchains where people look mostly at the consensus layer and sometimes at uh, layers above the consensus layer. But the forgotten part of this, this uh, equation is the network layer. So if you're going to be doing something slow and easy and leisurely like Bitcoin, so every 10 minutes there's a block and it's a tiny block, uh, sure, you know, it doesn't matter what you do at the network layer. But if you're going to really push the performance of a blockchain, then you really have to worry about exactly how uh, information is disseminated from people who have it to the people who consume it. So whether that's transactions who go to the miners or blocks who go from the miners to the consumers. So that info has to move really, really fast. And the way, the traditional way that this has been done with store and forward networks, where I have a block, I tell you, you slowly receive it, you check, you send it on, that's in, in exactly analogous to how we used to construct uh, the internet until about the early 80s. So that's what routers on the internet used to do. Uh, no routers work like that anymore. So if you want real high performance, what you have to do is you have to think, start thinking about uh, how to get the information to its destination before you have received it. So what people do is this thing called cut-through routing, where when you are beginning to receive some information from me, you start sending it on. And that cuts an enormous amount of the latency that you, we see on the peer-to-peer -peer network. So that's uh, one of the core tricks of the Blocks Route network. Uh, but there are many others. And overall, the vision here is we want to be the Akamai equivalent for blockchains. We want to be the company that provides infrastructure for cutting-edge, high-performance blockchains. Awesome, awesome. And uh, is this uh, currently, uh, is there a proof of concept being developed for this right now? Like, how far along is, is BlocksRoute? Uh, so we've had a proof of concept working for about a year and a half, maybe about two years by now. Uh, so we deployed it as a relay network for Bitcoin. So every single Bitcoin block and every single Bitcoin transaction has traversed our network for the last two years using this technology. And we're now commercializing it and making it accessible to other coins. Awesome. And what sort of... Um Throughput uh, scaling? Do you see like is is it going to be is it going to be ten x? Is it measurable? Is it going to be ten x, hundred x? What sort of uh, um, scaling do you see w with the throughput with a solution like BlocksRoute? So I it's a it's so I'm not sure if I should mention our numbers as of this point in time, uh, but I'll give you a hint as to what what is possible. So. With, uh, with changes to the network layer, uh, we begin to see multiple orders of magnitude. So um, our goal here is to leave Visa in the dust. Everybody is trying to achieve Visa levels. I don't quite understand the fascination with this company that is essentially dealing with meat space, with small, slow humans. So yeah, 5,000 transactions per second is absolutely nothing. I want to beat that by multiple orders of magnitude. Awesome, awesome. And uh, we're, we're looking forward to that, and we eagerly await uh, a, a, a production version of, of Blockstar. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great. Thank awesome, you guys. awesome. Thanks so much. Okay.